Hello friends, in this video I am going to show how to build tree view in Flutter. So make sure to watch the video till the end. If you have not yet subscribed my channel, please subscribe it for more helpful Flutter videos. Let's get started. Here I have already created this Flutter blank project. Now here I will be showing tree view for book content. To show tree view, I will be using Flutter simple tree view package. This package is really easy to integrate. It supports Android, iOS, web and desktop platforms. Now let's make changes in main.dart file. Here I will be using tree view widget to show tree view. Inside this tree view widget, I will add multiple nodes using nodes property. Here let's add first node. To add tree node, I will be using tree node widget. Inside this widget, I need to set content. For that, I will be using content property. For this content property, we can set any widget like icon, text, row widget, anything. Here I will be using text widget. Let's set style. Here I will set font size to 20. Here you can see first node is shown on the screen. Now let's set multiple nodes inside this book content node. So for that I will be using children property of this three node widget. So to add child nodes, again I will be using tree node widget. So let's copy this tree node code and I will make changes into it. So let's change content here. Let's change font size to identify the child node. Here you can see child node is displayed on the screen. Now let's create another child node. So I will be copying this existing child node. I will change text. Now inside this layout child node, I will again add child nodes. Now let's add another child node inside this layout child node. I will change the style. Here you can see the child nodes are displayed under this layout child node. We can expand collapse this child nodes. We can change size of this expand collapse icon. So for that I will be using icon size property. I will set icon size to 30. You can see here icon size is increased. We can change horizontal indentation between these levels using indent property. Here I will set 10. You can see here this indentation is changed. We can again change it. So here you can see the difference. We can perform some actions on tree view like expand all and collapse all. So for that we need to attach tree controller for this tree view. So let's define tree controller here at the top. Now let's attach this controller to tree view using tree controller property. Now to perform expand and collapse all actions, I will be adding icon buttons here in app bar and on click of this icon button, this action will be performed on this tree view using this controller. So let's set icon button first. I will be adding code for this on press callback handler shortly. Let's first set icon here. Now let's set another icon button for expand all. Now here you can see icon buttons are displayed for expand and collapse all. Let's set code inside this on press callback handlers. Here I will be calling collapse all method on controller to collapse review nodes. Below this let's call set state for state change. Now let's write code for expand all. 
here i will be calling expand all method on controller to expand preview nodes below this let's call set state for state change now let's check here you can see preview nodes are getting expanded and collapsed that's all for this video this source code is available on git link is given in the description if you have any issue or suggestion please comment below thanks for watching the video if you like this video please click on like button and do not forget to subscribe my channel